Hi, this is Bree Berkowitz here with ODTV, and I'm sitting here with head athletic trainer Bill Davis. Bill, can you tell us a little bit about your history of your athletic training experience? Yes, I've been an athletic trainer for over 30 years now. I started as a collegiate trainer for five years at a Division II school, and then I worked for the Miami Dolphins as the assistant trainer for nine, and then I ran a sports medicine program uh, out of a hospital in South Florida after I left the Dolphins. And we did, I basically started an athletic training program that provided services to, to a number of the area high schools in Broward County, 17 in fact. And then after that I've been teaching and I'm also the school's trainer at Hollywood Hills High School in, in Hollywood, Florida. And what, offense defense football camps is a full contact camp, what do you think are the most common injuries that you see at the camp? Typically speaking, because we, we run these camps in June and July, um, you see some fatigue type injuries because these kids may not have been doing much the last two or three weeks of the school year or maybe since school's been out, depending on when the kids got out of school, they haven't been doing too much. So you see some fatigue type injuries, the kids get nauseous, the kids get tired, the kids cramp a little bit. And then, and then because there's some fatigue type issues going on, we get some muscle strains and, and uh, that type of thing. We rarely, believe it or not, uh, have much of an issue with heat illness, just simply because we do such a great job of hydrating the kids on the field. The kids have total access to water and Gatorade, and they do quite well out there, uh, you know, from that perspective. We will occasionally get, you know, um, you know, a head injury, a collision type injury, just simply because it's the nature of the sport. And as everyone knows, there's a wide range of ages here. Um, what are the most, the biggest differences between the injuries of the pups and the senior group, the older kids levels? Sure. The, for the little ones, it's mostly, it's mostly fatigue type things and uh, mild, mild springs, uh, but it's mostly just fatigue, you know, help them to get managing and get them through the three practices a day. Uh, for the older kids, you start to see some ankle sprains, knee sprains, um, uh, you know, an occasional head injury, and uh, that's, that's basically the, the, the brunt of it. We might see a fracture, but it's very, very rare. Well, thank you, and we appreciate all your help out here. This is Bill Davis. I'm Bree Berkowitz with ODTV. Thank you very much, Bree. I'm enjoying myself out here. Hi, I'm Katie Simpson here with ODTV. Today I'm talking to camper mom, Victoria Luper. Now, Victoria, this is your son's third camp, and he's going to another one in a couple weeks. Why did you have you chosen to do so many offensive and sports camps? It's just... He does really good and responds well to it. Uh, my husband usually comes with him, and uh, it's a great camp. He learns a lot. What has been his favorite part about, because he's gone to Nashville, Louisville, and now he's in Indianapolis. What has been his favorite part about the three camps so far? Well, my husband can probably answer yeah. that. He's here. This is my first one. So, oh, so oh is your first one? Yeah, my first one. So. What's been your favorite part about getting to come out here and watch him? I just love spending time with him. Yeah. Well, that's great. Well, thank you so much. We wish him the best of luck at the rest of his camps. That's Victoria Looper. I'm Katie Simpson here with ODTV.